Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Lots of work around the Thargoids to do, and also the Thargoid Maelstroms. Well, by now you would have realised that the Thargoid Pulse Neutralizer requires something called Thargoid Sensor Fragments. So this video is going to deal with how would you get them, and where would you get them. Thargoid sensors used to be quite rare in Elite Dangerous. Now, you can pick them up at, a, say, a level 4 non-human signal source, or if you find a couple of crashed ships, like what I'm doing now, you can pick them up there in the wreckage. Now, this one particular crash site, shall we say, is in the HIP 17403 system, and you want planet A4A. Ironically, in orbit around planet A4A, there is a tourist beacon where people are there going to visit the remnants of the crashed ship. So coming down to the planet, the coordinates that you're going to need are minus 34.5 to minus 141.5. And you'll generally see it. It's a big crater with a mound in the middle. And on the other side of that mound, you're going to find a wreckage site but not just of a Thargoid ship, where we're going to get the sensor from, but also some anacondas, Federal Corvette, and some other wreckage. You can pick up things like gold, food, fish, animal meat, stuff like that, and perhaps some illegal products like narcotics as well. Now, it's up to you if you pick those up. Those are illegal in everywhere apart from dictatorships and anarchy states, so you will be pestered shall we say. Once you're on the ground though, it's very dark and you can see how dark it is. I'm going to apply a filter to this so that everyone can have a good look and see what's going on. But generally, using your night vision is going to be your friend here. Now, the Thargoid ship is, if you land where I am, to the top northwest of the entire crash site, you are going to be tempted to pick some things up along the way, some cargo canisters and the like. And like I said, it is very dark. You can see how dark it is, right? Your lights of your SRV are barely going to illuminate where you're going. So, night vision is key. If I apply a filter to this, you can see a little bit better of what's going on. You can see the crash site, bits of Thargoid everywhere. You can see the engines of what looks like a Corvette poking out, or could be an Anaconda. And there is the crashed Thargoid ship. Now around by this crashed Thargoid ship, you're gonna see a destroyed SRV. And next to it, there's your Thargoid center, everybody. Sensor, that's what we need. Those Thargoid sensors, you might get two or three of them knocking around and a few other broken ones. It's going to be making a crackling sound. It's going to be being going all fuzzy. But get the cargo scoop on the go. Get over. Scoop them up. And as soon as you start scooping up these Thargoid sensors, you're going to start incurring a bit of caustic damage. Because these sensors are going to start interfering with your SRV. Which takes me on nicely to what you should be having in your ship. You should be going over to Professor Palin and uh, Chloe Sidisi as well and making sure you've got those corrosive resistant cargo racks fitted to your ship because hauling around all this alien technology is going to have an adverse effect on your ship's technology okay, and its components. So just so you know. As you can see, I'm starting to incur a little bit of toxic corrosion damage to my data link scanner. And I'm going to have to get back to the ship and dump it in a corrosive resistant cargo rack as quick as I like. Now I have picked up two of them. I'm only really going to need one. Um, and I may well just end up jettisoning one as well. Because one of the next things I want to be doing in another video is going and getting a Thargoid probe. And the whole process around that. But the entire site is eerie. All right, it's very dark, it's eerie, it's a crash site there. You know, there's cargo strewn all over the area. You can pick it up, it's legal, it's a legal salvage find, 
and you know you can stick it in your cargo hold and at least make a little bit of money perhaps even pay for some of the fuel you've used or at least contribute to some of the fuel that you've used by getting over here so have a good look round at the ships like I say a couple of battered anacondas a corvette a downed thargoid eerie spookiness is the name of the game but that's one surefire way to get hold of at least two if not possibly three sensors now talking about the sensors yes you can scoop them up but if you shoot them with the guns on your SRV right they'll break apart and they will produce thargoid sensor or just sensor fragments which you can then scoop up these sensor fragments don't cause any damage to your SRV and are a viable material that you can store in your material hold. So make sure you take advantage of logging off Elite Dangerous, logging back on to Elite Dangerous, getting the respawn and filling up on these sensor fragments. Now a couple of things to note. If you're out and about going around your business in the Elite Dangerous galaxy and you happen to be pulled out of frame shift, witch space, whatever you want to call it, uh, by a Thargoid, and it detects and scans you, and it finds that you're holding a sensor, it will immediately become hostile. And then you've got a little bit of a problem. These Thargoid sensors do emit constant noises that can be heard in close proximity. And like I mentioned, if you shoot them or ram them, the sensor will break up into a number of materials called sensor fragments. The Thargoid sensor does inflict damage. We've covered this as well. And that, you know, be very careful around the Thargoids if you are packing one of these. Now, the Thargoid sensor, as you approach, will perform some sort of scan, right? As you approach. Here's the thing. And then it'll emit some sort of distorted Morse code, which then represents the body. A sensor will also scan all ships within one kilometer and point and align itself with Marope if dropped in space. A star system in the Pleiades system, that's Marope, and that's generally where all the barnacles used to be. And it was quite a lot of conjecture on why it'd be pointing all the way down to Marope. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they used to be quite rare. This is a surefire way to get at least three of these. But I picked up two, shot the other one for the fragments, rinse and repeat, and away you go. You can also get sensors obtained from um, a level four threat, a military convoy. Now, where they're being transported typically by type nine heavies, but you'd have to have um, a hatch breaker limpet controller and also those limpets to break into those ships and retract those Thargoid sensors from their cargo holds. Typically as well, they're going to be protected, so it's not going to be easy, they're not going to make it easy for you. There will be a vulture and there will be some anacondas in escort as well. All important stuff and stuff you should be aware of before going in and attacking a convoy. This is by far the safest way of doing it. A little bit of a fag to get all the way down there to the surface, but with the coordinates I've shown you, it's a surefire way of getting those sensors. Thanks for watching the video. I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And check out the back catalogue and live streams as well to help you along with Elite Dangerous. See you soon.